Oh, Happy New Year's Eve. We are just finishing up here at church. Um, we had a little lesson for the women and we had extra money in our budget, so we had a mini brunch. <laughs> um, I had some hot cocoa, some muffins, some croissants. I didn't eat all that, of course. It's just what they offered. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then they had one of the ladies make us some crab apple jelly. Um, that was very sweet of them, so everyone got to go home with that. Um, and then after we were done with our meetings, we have a linger on, linger longer is what they have going on right now. Just um, a social, a social after church, and more snacks. Right, Ash? What do you have? What, cookies. What, what, show them the best store bought cookies out there. It's the only, it's the only kind of store bought cookies you should buy, right? Yeah. That kind. Except for they're a little too. Um, so we're just heading home from that. Go home and actually have like. A real lunch <laughs> that's a little bit more healthy. Yeah, I don't need that. Um, but I've told Jason to not make waffles because, well, those of you who are watching that are our same religion, maybe your family, um, just know that we understand it's Sunday. <laughs> but we're gonna go and see a movie today, which is normally not something that we choose to do, but it is New Year's Eve, and we're, we've been trying for a week now to take the time to go to a movie with as many people in the family as possible and it just hasn't worked out and even today i don't even know if kaylee and abby want to go see migration okay hang on all right safely made my exit from my parallel parking spot anyway so in like an hour two hours we'll go and see migration um and then hopefully we can get back and watch pre-recorded seahawks game and then play some games with the kids. Take a nap. Someone in church today, they were like, how many of you moms are actually gonna stay awake till midnight tonight? Because we don't technically go out and do things on Sundays, having New Year's Eve be in play, it kind of changes it a little bit. Why is the windshield wipers going? It just feels moisture. That's how much this is, that's how much moisture is actually in the air. Um, in the Northwest is that your wipers stay on <laughs> because it just senses the moisture. So we're gonna go home and we will have a full day of fun things that may or may not be like true like New Year's Eve-ish, but they'll be still be fun. All right, we are on our way to the movie, taking a little bit of a Sunday nap. Are they excited? But look at, um, this is like the nicest day. Super nice, nice time. Super nice I didn't even know it was this nice out here. So New Year's Eve. When you sleep inside, you don't realize how nice it is outside. What? Yeah, so I can't <laughs> see how much of a schmuck you're being. Okay. It's yeah. a wise your your... What, Ash? Do you have something on? I can't see. The sun's too bright. Which is very rare. Come forward. For a New Year's Eve, is what I'm saying. It's rare to have this sunshine. And the non cold. Well, I guess it's 50. <laughs> So, are you guys just being crazy back there? Favorite kid cartoon movie, whatever. So now they want to go home and watch. <laughs> no, I have my hands. Full. Remember when we had to buckle you because you buckled yourself? my surgery. I know. She's she put done in What is she gonna do? Lift her me and Chelsea. They were so supportive. Yeah, no. Of no, my and, surgery. Me and Chelsea were in a fight, and so I was like, I'm gonna go get dad, but dad wasn't home, and Kate, no one was home except for the three of us. And then I was like, ah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna go get mom. Gonna and she's out. like, what is she gonna do? Lift her arms up? <laughs> and she was like, darn it. I love that they loved how to support me. I yes. Know. It was so yes, nice. it was so great. Yeah. Well, so much for the. Uh, cream soda zero that we brought home for the rest of the night for the kids to nibble on. Um, it's all over my car and the floor 
and a whole front side of Jason. So <laughs> they all went inside. Apparently I have to clean it up even though I didn't spill it. We've been home for 20 seconds. Mabel, say hi. Hi, Ella. Ella, say <laughs> hi. Show Papa. Oh, where's Ella? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. <laughs> Funny girls. Literally, you've been in here for 20 seconds. Yeah. And you're already online with your friends. Oh my gosh. So did, Mabel, did you get another Stanley? Yeah, look at it. Yeah, Ooh, she's pretty. Yeah, mine's like dented. That's why I got the rubber cut. Well, maybe you shouldn't drop it. No, it's because like on the bus, it like it rolls oh down God. on the seat. I'm not holding it 20. I know that's because of 20 ounce Stanley. It's like it's not 10 20 pounds. Ounce, it's 40 ounce. 40 ounce. Yeah, it shouldn't be on the bus. Whatever. All right, Jason has graced me with his presence downstairs, doing his Legos, finishing up his little kit. But and we're watching the Seahawk game. I can't show it though, or I'll get flagged. But. I did something really exciting just now. Ashley, guess what? You booked it. We booked it. We are officially going to Japan. That's the only flight I have booked. I know, I may not get home. <laughs> We've only booked the one-way flight to Sapporo. It's the island of Sapporo on the north, north oh. of Tokyo. Um, and we actually... Oh, way north of Tokyo. I know. The, the island is north of Tokyo. <gasps> yeah. It's cool because on our flight there, we actually get to fly through Taiwan and have a five hour layover in Taiwan. And then we fly from Taiwan to Sapporo, which is kind of cool. The flight that I'm looking at going home flies to, no, I don't know that they have a layover anywhere. Korea. I think it's actually on Korean air. Anyway, but my, I have, I've only done the one way ticket because we have almost every portion of our trip that we have planned is all going to be pieced to Together. It can, none of it can be like a round trip anything um, because I'm managing to make Hawaii happen after Japan, which is a true blessing. It is something that, you know, we know that it's an extra. <laughs> I'm extra. I love get to Hawaii. Um, Ashley's friends have been calling nonstop, driving me crazy. It's just kind of crazy because we'll do the week in Japan. Oh, my battery's dead. We'll do the week in Japan, but when we're done with that, we're only one day into our kids' spring break back home for school because we're kind of doubled up with two different school districts spring break. And so I don't want to just come home and like miss an opportunity to do something. <laughs> so we will coming home. Hang on, battery change. Okay, new battery in. We are going to be flying from Japan directly to Honolulu, which I found out that if I, because we're going to the island of Kauai, in case we haven't told you that, kind of go and experience that again. We have gone to Kauai four times, if I remember correctly. Yes, that sounds, we just, this, this is just where we go. Our other friends go to Mexico and Cabo and they, or Palm Desert all the time, whatever. This is where we like to go. Ashley, can you go in the other room? Thank you. <laughs> Um, anyway, uh, so we're gonna fly directly to Honolulu from Japan, but the interesting thing that I f discovered when I was trying to like look at those flights, we're going to Kauai, and so I put in Japan to Kauai, and it gave me a price, and I was like, that seems really high. I thought I looked at it yesterday, and it was a lot lower than that. So then I put in to, from Japan to Honolulu, and the price reduced by $2,000. You guys, island hop flight are $65. Sometimes they're even less. If you go like Southwest, you can get like a $40, $50 like flight hopper, like island hopper ticket. And I was like, oh my goodness sakes. We have to fly to Honolulu anyway. That was the funny thing is that the flight that was $2,000 more, you still flew, flew to Honolulu because you have to do customs there. And then you do another island hop to Kauai. And I would rather just save the $2,000, fly to Honolulu, go through customs, which we need to go and get the whole, what do they call that again? The fast.
yet because we just booked this travel on Jason's Amex. His statement is about to roll over and he'll he'll be paying that bill really soon. And so this, the points are gonna roll over that I need for the hotel. If anybody's been to Japan knows a lot about Japan, give us Yeah, let tips. us know if you have any tips. We're going, to, we're only on the island of Sapporo. It's the only time, the only city that we're gonna be in. We don't have time for anything. It's been about 30 years since I've been there. I know, he lived in Nagoya for two years. We also did another, anyway, we've he's been putting stuff on the Amex that has given him five times the point. Uh, this trip and another um, travel thing that he had to do for work and the points. I need the points to roll over quickly and so I can. We can pre-buy points on Amex too, remember that. Like they'll get, they'll be like, okay, we'll give you points. You just have to buy enough merch in a certain period of time. We can call that a person ask about Let's that. call your concierge and do that because that might be cheaper than, because the hotel I want to get um, on Kauai is more expensive. I could actually get the Hawaii side of it for almost free if I chose a different hotel. <laughs> She's putting a chicken. It looks like a, it looks like a chicken in a blanket. Are you kidding me? You gotta pull away from- Oh goodness sakes, he didn't, he's right there. <gasps> it, they're, okay, oh, it's them, okay. Yeah, but they, they, I don't know. Okay, hang on, Jason, just, anyway, oh, we're, we have a lot going on here. What I'm getting at is I need points and miles to roll over in order for me to book the other half of this trip. Well, our flight home from Japan to Hawaii and our flight from Hawaii home, as well as our hotel in Hawaii. And I just need at least one more billing cycle to roll through and get all those points <laughs> rolled over because I'm about 4,000 miles away from you having win, win, our flights free and I'm only paying for two nights of the hotel, but it sounds like maybe we can actually buy points. Go away. What you know what? She knows what day we're leaving, but I can't tell you guys because secrecy and you're going to see it a week in advance or a week ahead of time. Right now, I'm only paying for two nights of the hotel out of the six nights that we want to go. But if I can buy some points and he will always have stuff going on in his Amex, that might save us some more money. So I'm just kind of waiting for the rest we'll of it. Them. We'll call them on. Yeah, I'm waiting for the rest of it to just get as many points to cover it because I would say 90% of the Hawaii side of this trip is going to be free, which is, that's how I do it. That's how I do it, right, hon? Yeah. Is that how I do it? And I don't earn commission. I'm his little personal, like, concierge travel agent, and I earn zero. Actually, I earn trips to Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> I earned myself tickets to Hawaii. That's what I earned. Yeah. So anyway, we just, our coach was bugging us. She's like, I only have a few itinerary, itineraries emailed to me. I need to make sure. And we kind of had a snafu with the agent that we were working with to get the hotel in Japan. No. Um, because one of the moms was like, this price seems really high for the hotel we're going to stay at. And she looked at the same hotel on Expedia and she's like, we can save hundred on this. Like, I don't need, I could book this for ourselves. Like I could book everyone myself like for way cheaper and so we think that they were jacking up the price on us and so we've and then the agent stopped or the hotel stopped um being in touch with us so we're like uh something's going on so we're finding a new hotel and it's gonna be cheaper price which is great because that's what they're currently fundraising for is this the rest of the cost of the hotel and the excursions we're hoping to like get this fundraiser to bring that price down hopefully to next to nothing so, but the kids are all, I don't know if I've ever said this, but the kids um, all agreed that if they wanted to go with her to Japan, she's always had to like fundraise and earn some of the money herself. But the other two, Abby and Chelsea that are going, they are paying for half their plane ticket to, to Japan because I'm working with my miles to get the return flight for free. I'm not making them pay for part of Hawaii, if you know what I mean. But they are paying like... for half of their flight to go to Japan to kind of teach them the responsibility. If we do things that are a little bit extra, we need to pay for them. We need to help like earn. I'm just laughing at you. Be like, you don't get commission or anything. If we do something <laughs> extra, you gotta pay for it. And I'm just like, look at this. This is all the extra. I'm I have been just... researching this. Oh, I have been taking my time <laughs> for weeks on end to research this. I, I'm just giving you a hard time. And I'm I have my ladies scanned all the time to earn this and okay like okay
it's almost, it's three months away. We'll just say that. I'm not gonna give you an exact date. It's three months away. Very exciting to have this on the horizon so fast. I have another friend who's actually going to Hawaii and I'm excitedly helping her plan that trip. I just, she's like, well, you're not, you don't have anything in it for you. Like, why are you so excited? And I'm like, because I love like showing people and getting people excited about Hawaii. Cause then when they come, when they actually go, they text me, okay, I understand, I understand. And it's, I've noticed as I've met a lot of you and as we've had conversations and found out that like a lot of you found my channel through Hawaii videos, we're all the same people. Like I, as I've met you, like the one I just met at Costco and all the other people that I've met in person, it's like we're the same kind of people. Like we have the Hawaiian in our soul, we understand it, we like, anyway, it's a thing, it's a thing. But very excited, how do you say thank you, Ashley? Thank you. In Japanese. No. Oh wait. Arigato. Arigato gozaimasu. Gozaimasu. Wow. I just can't remember. remember and now we're learning how, what was the new one we, oh, McDonald's. Good Donald. Oh, <laughs> Ashley's like, can I just eat a McDonald's when we're in Japan? And he's like, yes, you could, but it's I'm gonna make insane. you eat new foods. So we're gonna continue our New Year's Eve. I know this is a long spiel about Japan, not New Year's Eve, but we're kind of just doing normal Sunday things today. And I, she's the only one who's probably gonna make it to midnight if I'm, you know, telling the truth. So we'll see. Okay, Seahawks did not in fact win their game. We just played a riveting game of a, we did five or six rounds of, what is that called, Ruma Cube? Speed Ruma Cube, if you've never played it, Speed. Charles, we're gonna play a game now. Um, And we're gonna now, not exploding kittens. Can you look underneath there for cover your assets? Um, so if you've never played, played Ruma Cube Speed, you don't take turns. You have to have 30 points to start playing and then it's go. And it, there's no turns, you just play as you can. If you take a wild, you get to, you have to immediately play it right away. If you go out, everyone else gets one more turn and then that's it and you add up the points and it's really, really fun. So if you've never played Ruma Cube, you should get it and you should play it speed round. None of our friends like to play it because they don't like to play it as fast as we play it. So we only play it with Abby and Abby almost always never gets any points. Yep, she didn't score any point. Dad has 38, That's a good thing. I have 17, and Ashley has over 100. <laughs> So that's how the game goes. But we're gonna play another game, get Chelsea back down here um, to play with us. Um, oh, and after we're done, remind me, Ash, I think dad's remote control car is almost done. He's gonna put batteries in it to test it before he finishes it so that he doesn't have to undo part in case it's not working. He thinks that maybe something is wrong with it because the wheels are like, the axles you know, are weird. two different ways. I think he just put on the wheels wrong. I can't find it. Yeah, he doesn't like to read the instructions sometimes. So. No, he, no, we'll the, see if the wheels were like, are they just, one wheel, the other goes else. yeah, so it's not gonna, it's gonna be wonky. So I can't we'll, we'll test curious. it later on tonight. And I forgot this is one ornament that I didn't put away, but he I still looks good. On the truck. I know he looks cute on this truck still. And then there's always extra ornaments, extra decorations after you put everything away, all the bins are up. Chelsea says she doesn't like it. Well, then let's find what she does. Um, these are all things that I that are left and I have to go put away. So, I almost did it. But we're gonna get that put away before the end of the year, which means I only have four hours to do so. Okay, can't find cover your assets. So we're gonna play uh, Nert, and I've got my Hawaii cards, um, but we only have three decks of the Hawaii cards. So, one of you sent me Nashville cards. So Jason's gonna play out of Nashville, and we're all gonna play out of Hawaii. So, next up is tell me if you've played nerds before. Kind of lightweights around here. He's having pumpkin pie. It's 11 p.m. We only have one remaining. remaining. To be fair, Chelsea. Well, Chelsea is probably asleep. Abby just went upstairs about 20 minutes ago or so. Kaylee is actually at Jacob's house. So we, we have two. We have two, but not here. Can you just go put these away? Yeah. These are all over our house all the time, every day. You bought them. Yeah. Well, you have a little stand. Um, you did not finish your or put batteries in your your yeah. little car, right? I'm not done building it yet. No, yeah. I thought you were gonna test it. I'll probably yeah, I thought you were gonna test it. Something to look forward to in 2024. Yep. I think I'm gonna go shower and maybe I'll still be awake at midnight, but I might be in bed. <laughs> 
So I don't even think we're gonna crack that sparkling cider that I got out. Save it for tomorrow. Yeah, I just don't think I need to open it. I don't need to have it. It goes bad as soon as you open it. I wanna drink it. You don't need to drink it. Uh, says it all. I'm gonna go. Wish everybody a happy new. Yep. New this is year. how you New Year when you're 40 and 50. <laughs> 45 and 50. Uh, uh, here's to a good year for all of us. Both yes. All of you out there, all those that comment and we've gotten to know. Yes. Have a great 20 and everyone who doesn't. Everybody it's doesn't. one, two, three, one, two, three. Yes. Yeah, one, two, three, one, two, three. If you didn't know that. Because yeah. it's, it's 12, 31, 23. And it's gonna be the only day. Yeah, only time ever. Bye. So we are gonna say goodnight to you. We are gonna say happy new year to you. Goodbye 2023. Hello 2024. We no, no we're not. Yeah. We have 45 minutes, 55 minutes. Um, we appreciate all of you for coming along with us on our journey. It makes it funner or easier to get through on the bad times. Um, appreciate all that you do to keep us going and, and be friends with us. And we want to make sure you guys are having a good um, new year as well. Um, so yeah, that's it. Thank you for being a part of our journey and we will see you guys next year.